Welcome back. I'd like to give a big thanks to Glyphnor and Gizgorp, our sponsors for today. The only legal sex trade operation in the galaxy. Uh, that being said, we have our guest here today. His name is Friznar. Uh, let's dive right into it. I wanted to ask a few things since you're the first documented uh, extraterrestrial to to come forward and talk to us. Uh, tell us a little bit about your planet. Uh, what galaxy is it in? <laughs> And that's like how many light years away from the Milky Way then? Huh? Do they have any uh, sacrificial orgies on this planet? Zeke, 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 dude, do you not notice? Turn the fucking translator on, dude. This. I thought I was just fucking stoned. Yeah. All right. Really? You thought? Oh, all right. All right. You know, just give us a second, guy. I know. We're more professional than we. Oh, you, you guys are some dumb motherfuckers, okay? Because, like, it, did you even understand what I just said to you? If I said yes, would you believe me? No. Where do you get off calling us dumbasses, man? I've seen your planet. You know how long it took you to get to us, the United States of America, the greatest country in the universe. I'll tell you what, you damn lousy ass American. My planet, in just 10 generations, okay? We civilized on child planet and we work together, okay? We work together! Alright, alright. This motherfucker wants to play big balls over here. Alright, you work together, that's cool, you simp-ass motherfucker, but... I mean, let's get down to brass tacks, I mean... How long we talking here? How long is your motherfucking McWiggles down there, sir? McWiggles has been down there for about four weeks. And don't worry about McWiggles. We, we feed him. We feed him every other day with turkey and salami and mozzarella cheese. But anyways, Frisnar, tell us about your, uh, your experience here on Earth. Have you been to McDonald's lately? Have you tasted those fries, man? The people from my colony, we prefer the chicken nuggets. Not the ones that you get from the Mickey D's. We like the ones that you get from the grocery store in the red bag. The ones that look like dinosaurs. What do you as an alien from beyond this galaxy know about dinosaurs? I mean, come on, really. You see, child of Oz, we planted the dinosaurs on your planet for experiments. And you were an off creation from those dinosaurs. All right, you planted dinosaurs, all right. What kind of seeds do dinosaurs take? I mean, how? What's the? What is the plantation process of planting a dinosaur in a garden? It's a lot like growing your weed inside the closet. Oh, you have a lot of experience with that, don't you, Z? I do. I know exactly what you mean. Go on, go on. I really. My people, we interact through mind powers. We do not go and have emotional petty feelings like you mortals. We live thousands of years, so we telepathically speak to one another. We speak in puns. Ah, puns, the most elaborate of comedy. Would you like to hear my planet's most famous pun? Can't be better than what our planet has. Give it a shot. Okay, okay, okay. Wagazoo! Ah, fucking punch minds, man. Anyone can make a pun. Any civilization whatsoever. That's fucking weak shit right there, you little alien twat. Well, I suppose now, it is an inside joke. Aside from all this negativity that we've been uh, uh, displaying towards you and your your species or your race or whatever you prefer to be called, uh, how do you like our initial act of hospitality the uh, the American beer that you are drinking right now is that not the most delicious frothy beverage that you have ever let enter your body this liquid right here is not quite up to my people's standards the only liquid we drink in our homelands is that from the tip of the mother's nipple. Alright, you don't like the beer. He doesn't like the carbonated beverages. 
So poo. No, 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 no. The milk from the mother's tits is just carbonated. Fuck, man. We have a lot more in common than I thought we did. <laughs> really. Sorry, you do not touch my people. I am so sorry, sir. Self-defense mechanism. Three strikes, you out. So I was going to ask you. Putin himself said that he would greet the alien civilization with a nice glass of perfectly chilled vodka just to the temperature that you would love also awaiting you with 2,000 virgins behind him now I think that's pretty progressive if you ask me Putin has never dabbled in cross-culture religious beliefs to me and he it just sounds like Putin's just looking for a smoochie tell me the truth is Betty White an alien Zeke, I told you we weren't going to go there yet, man. We got to get to know the, the guy. the only question I have. That's the only question I want answered. And I'm not going to be satisfied until I leave here with an answer to that question. I get you, Zeke. It's Betty White. She's the fucking... How could she outlive B. Arthur? I she's, mean, come on. Zeke, she's the ninth, ninth wonder of the world. You just can't lead sir, off with Sir, those... sir, we, we have a problem. They, they have found out that Betty White is the informant. No. Fucking knew it. God See, damn it, Zeke, now. you this whole time. That's ridiculous. See, you need to start listening to me more. Captain, I need to be beamed. Now we gotta fucking bag and tag this motherfucker. Are you proud of yourself, Zeke? We had the prime opportunity of getting some gold from this motherfucker. Now we gotta kill him. Scotty, Scotty, beam me up. Why don't I just take his watch? Scotty! Oh, shit. Fuck you. I didn't, I didn't bring another vehicle. What, what am I gonna do? What did you do to my Zeke? Zeke! Well, he's gone now. He's probably oh. like 49 oh. light years away at this point. 49? By that time, I'm gonna be 83. That motherfucker ain't gonna wanna touch me. No, you're not. You're never gonna see him again. What do you mean I'm never gonna see him again? So, so you know where to find a good oh. job? I gotta lay low for like the next 227 years or so until they pick me up. A job? A fucking job? Scotty? God damn it, you alien fuck, you want a job and you just sent my poor good old buddy Zeke up into the heavens up yonder. Oh. Do you know where the prostitute is? P prostitute? They exist here on Earth, don't they? Well, well, yeah, but I mean, I don't partake. I don't have nearly enough money, and even if I did, I mean, I wouldn't know what to do with the the holes and the STDs and the. I mean, I don't. I just don't quite know. Well, if you want to see me within the next 227 years, boy, I'll be out fucking prostitutes. 220. No, Frisnar! Frisnar, wait, Frisnar, you're my only hope! Damn, why do you always. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Oh, fucking god damn it, Kelsey. Why do you always do this? If only I had my Zeke. The Zeke and Kel show was filmed in front of two drunks who fell asleep during the previous recording of Jeopardy. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe.